All right, I want to make a quick little video on how to run MATLAB like in the terminal and use Vim instead of the uh, IDE that comes with MATLAB on Linux. Um, so this is just assuming that you already have MATLAB installed, which is pretty easy. You just download the zip thing, um, unzip the thing into wherever, and then go into that directory and do this, this dot slash install. Um, and then it should install. And then after that, you just need to, well, technically you could just type MATLAB, but in my case, the installer, it, it didn't like install to the like user share bin or whatever. I had to make my own like folder. Um, so I have to go into here and then do MATLAB. Um, but if it installs, wherever you install it, you just have to go to that directory and, and run MATLAB basically. First you want to go to the directory of um, where your like MATLAB projects are. So like I have uh, MATLAB docs, so I just have like a random thing in there. And then what you want to do is go to your uh, directory of the thing, so it goes to my MATLAB folder, then the bin, because that's where it's installed to, um, which is kind of stupid installing it to your home folder, but whatever, I don't really care. And then it's going to run MATLAB. Um, but if we just run it with no options, you'll see the issue here in a second. Um, on DWM, it doesn't really play nice with the, uh, the Java part of um, MATLAB. Uh, you see here at the bottom it says ready, really, really small, and it's just this white screen. And it's like glitchy too. Well, I guess it's not that glitchy. Here on, on one of my other laptops, it gets glitchy and it like won't fill in the entire thing. But on DWM, the Java doesn't load correctly. So I was thinking I could either figure out how to fix this or just do everything in the terminal because the white theme on MATLAB is pretty ugly anyways. Uh, also, since this is a 1080p laptop, um, everything's like really small and I don't think there's a way to scale up MATLAB, so it's like kind of hard to see. So we're going to quit out of that, and here is what you're going to want to do. Do this, and then do no desktop, and then launch it. And then it'll launch in the terminal here. Well, this will come up, and then it'll launch in the terminal. Now here it just says MATLAB. So we'll just clear that, and now it's just the basic thing. So you could do like A equals uh, like that, and then you just do A times five or whatever and it'll you know it just does the basic like command window stuff of MATLAB but if we do okay well actually I don't know what it's in uh, if we go to MATLAB docs oops hello MATLAB docs here I have just test.m okay so this just uh, okay it's just some dumb matrix stuff um, okay so we have test.m it's just like a dumb thing let's do vim what should we call this? Let's call it cool.m. And then it'll just be your, uh, you know, just like a Vim window. So let's type in some MATLAB here. Um, oops, hello. Uh, let's make it uh, say hello. What's good? Okay, so that's, that's all this is. And what we want to do, oops, we want to save it and now that the the things in there since we opened up MATLAB with that directory all we have to do is just say cool and it'll run the thing so we do tests and test it's just did like whatever matrix stuff I was doing before um, so yeah obviously I don't know exactly how like figures will work like if you have something plotted um, obviously it's gonna want to open a new window it actually probably will not be too bad. Let's let's try that. Um, plot x y. Let's see if this works. We write that and then we do cool. Let's see what happens. Okay. <laughs> well, oh, that's weird. Okay, so obviously like my DWM setup, I messed up one of the patches. So whenever like I open up three terminals, it gets really shrunken. Um, 
and then it's got this weird spacing. If you know how to fix this, let me know. I haven't really looked into it, but I messed up one of the patches and I was too lazy to figure it out. Um, cause I usually only use like two anyways, but okay. So that works. Um, things instead of literally two pi, well, which would be six entries in the, in the matrix. Um, okay. Let's see if it, Hmm. Maybe that's, maybe I need to do close all. No, it's being weird. Okay, why is it a vin Oh, see, this is this is the glitchiness that I was talking about. If we if we go like that, see here, like like this is a graphical glitch. It's not actually the terminal here in the background. It's just this. It just like takes it with it. That's weird, and it moves over a little bit too. Look at that. Okay, well. Okay, well there I, I tricked it. I and pressed enter, and then I opened it in a different thing. Okay, well it worked before, so I don't know what the issue is. But yeah, that's basically the video. So just go into the directory um, of wherever your documents are, and then from there, just go to your, or do like, you know, uh, well, it wouldn't necessarily be tilde, but like you, you type in the directory of the program itself, and then you type in the program. See, because this is not a folder, it's just going to run this. You open it in that directory, and then when you do that, the command window should open up in the terminal, and then just open up them, or Emacs, or Nano, or whatever. And then just when you save it, then you can run it, and then it, you know, it, it works. Yeah, so. I don't know why this doesn't work, but anyways, video over, so yeah, see ya.